Hello everyone! In this video, I will show you how to create fully procedural styrofoam material in Octane in Cinema 4D. Before we start, be sure to check out my Patreon. You will find this scene and 70 fully procedural styrofoam materials there. Now let's start creating our material. Let's go to Create, Extensions, C4D Octane, Octane Material. Let's apply it to our model. Let's double click on it. Go to Node Editor. In Node Editor, click at our Material node. Go to Basic, change Material Type to Universal and BSDF Model to GGX Energy Preserving. For Albedo, we want to set it to 50%, Roughness to 0.7 and Transmission to Diffuse with fully white color. In Common, we want to enable the fake shadows. And now we want to add Random Walk in Medium. We will open Albedo and Radius tab. Change the albedo to 93% and radius to 20. And that's gonna be our base for this material. But to go from this to this, we need to add few extra nodes. Let's start from adding octane noise with circular type, octaves of one and gamma of 0.1. Let's add transform and projection to it. And for projection, I will choose three planar this time around. You can go with Mesh UV if you have UV Unwrapped model. Let's add 3 planar node to make it work. And let's connect 3 planar to Bump. Let's sell now the 3 planar. And we can see that our scale is for now too big. So let's lower the scale to 0.04. I'm gonna zoom in our scene so we can see all the details. I'm gonna disable the cell node on 3 planar. And we already have styrofoam like material but there is few extra steps we still need to do first of all we can add displacement and in displacement node we want to change the type to vertex displacement because we are using three planar without uvs and let's enable the auto bump map also worth mentioning that i have octane tag on this model with subdivision level of three i'm gonna connect now this three planar node to texture and displacement and for now, we can see that we need to definitely lower the height as well. So 0.5. Now styrofoam surface looks exactly how we want it to. But let's disable the displacement for now. So it doesn't slow down our further progress with this material. And let's add black dots to it. For that, we will use another octane noise. We're going to set the type to Voronoi, octaves to 1 and gamma to 0.1. Let's also connect it with the same transfer and projection we have from previous noise. And let's also just like previously add three planar node to make it work. Now let's add two octane gradients, connect the three planar to first gradient and that gradient to albedo. And let's still note the gradient here. We need to clamp the values in this gradient to get the look of those black dots. We're gonna do it just like that. And let's change the values here as well. So the brighter slider is going to be 93% and the darker value is going to be 60%. Let's disable the solo node. And this is what we get now. Now let's connect this gradient to another gradient. And that gradient we're going to connect with albedo. In this gradient, we want to set the darker value to 27% and the brighter value to 50%. And now we can enable displacement again and see the final result. If you like this tutorial, be sure to hit the like button and let me know in the comment section what you want to see in the next tutorial. Also, I want to remind you of my Patreon, where you will find more content and assets prepared by me. And that's it for this video. See you in the next one.